Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Moonring, uh, where we have the head of the great the great Sleathen, and we could be taking that to the to the garden, I suppose, or focusing on any of our other really important tasks. Uh, but instead, we're here, this cursed castle that I found by wandering around in the wilderness, because I'm bad at focus. Uh, let's just take one of these apart, I suppose. I'll take them both apart. That's locked. We do have at least one lockpick. Oh, this place is, like, very heavily trapped. Jeez. Okay, well. It does seem like they maybe don't want us getting to whatever is in the middle tile there. Just set the trap off. Maybe not the smartest move ever. Um, you know, that said, I do have an awful lot of water. I am a little, I'm a little on fire. Like, the smallest amount. Ah, we got out of there in time. Dominion. Hmm. That's odd. Um. I mean, there isn't anything in that middle tile, as far as I can see. What is strange? Do we do we know? Uh, let's see here. Dictionary. Do we know anything that means anything close to Dominion? People hidden. Before and after. Okay, so no, not really. Hmm. Well. We could go generate a little bit of energy. Jeez. Uh, we could eat one of our one of our roots. Or I could just step on a trap and we could get to it that way. I'm feeling pretty tough. Let's just... We'll step over here, we'll get out of the way, wait for the fire to burn down. We'll step on that middle tile and see if there is, in fact, anything worth having. It doesn't look like there is. It may be that this the word Dominion carved into the wall here is the only thing of value in the whole place. God, the fire is really going. As far as I'm aware, we can't apply water to like an adjacent space. Like I can't dump out one of my water bottles on that fire. So I think this is all there is to do. It's just sit here. Gosh, maybe we should make a <laughs> like make camp. It's like rest overnight. This is a crazy amount of time to have to wait. Apparently you cannot just hold the button down. You do have to press it every single time. Maybe I just douse myself with water and then walk through the space. Maybe that would be a... Uh... I have no idea why you would design this this way. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just, just douse myself because I would like to be done with this sometime today. Oh, my stupid water resistance. All right, you know what? Okay. All it does is leave the area. Yeah, there is nothing to that space in the middle. That's very odd. I don't know if this is going to work out the way they're hoping. Wow, I actually really... I got stepped on pretty seriously there. No, oh, dog, do not focus on the one that's invulnerable. All right. My wolf is not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's extremely good at murders, but we get some uh, some poise back here. There we go. That could have gone a lot more cleanly. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else going on around here? No, not really. It's just a weird... A weird island with a ruin that has the word Dominion written inside of it. For whatever reason. Alright, fresh wolf. Get him, fresh wolf. Okay. Damn. Why are there so 
Why are there so many enemies? I guess I should be doing some fighting. I need to be regening energy. Alright, any loot in here? Anything fun? That just goes outside again. That might go to a treasure chest, potentially. Hard to say. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, apparently we have a lot of water. Or a lot of empty bottles, rather. Okay, where's my ship? My ship is all the way down there. Yeah, I guess there's still a fair amount of, uh, fair amount of on-foot exploration worth doing. Oh, this is inconvenient. Uh, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and use some oil. Gosh, I do, I do still have some, right? Maybe I don't, maybe I'm out of, oh, okay, I have one, one file remaining. We need to, I need to find a source of this stuff and dump out some water and. Okay, that's just a herb of some kind. You know the deal. You know how that is. Wow, these things crit very hard. Okay. Wow. The wolf killed that guy in a way that preserved all of his blood. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. That's what incredible work. Okay, we're in some kind of like tightly contained okay. Yeah, there's there's something going on in here for sure. Go get him, buddy. He knows what's up. He's got it. See, this is what I was trying to avoid. Was the the going insane. Oh no, Kevin died! He was he was bitten by that jam jar. I'm just gonna wait here until the crazy wears off, if you don't mind, friend. Okay. Not ducklings, no! Okay, yeah, so we found a, uh... We found a little hideaway in this forest of madness. Thank you for helping me hunt that, because apparently I am very bad at hunting right now. Okay, there are berries in here somewhere. We must find them. I guess I may as well eat the berry now. It's not, I'm not gonna try to remember. So we do have, this is, this is very similar to a place we've seen before, right? We do have at least one lockpick in my inventory. I think I might even have two. The spectral wolf is no longer insane. Cool. I am told that I need a great key. Let's see how true that is. Okay. <clears throat> this door requires a special key. Cannot be picked. I might argue that all keys are special keys. You know, that's kind of the thing about them. Is that they are supposed to be... Alright, whatever. It's fine. Oh, hey! This is going to be one of those herbs. Some creatures are completely immune to physical attacks. Oh, I still have Sleethen's Fang equipped, don't I? That's not ideal. Yeah, I sure do. Alright, there we go. I should actually be very good at fighting a ghost, in theory. That said, also these ghosts are kind of fucking me up, so we shall just excuse ourselves. All right, go get them, buddy. Is there anything else I need to be, like, spending my energy on? I guess not, like, really the 
the thing would be um, converting energy into health by drinking blood, right? Except, obviously, it's not super relevant here. All right. Good teamwork, friend. Got ourselves an orb of sloth, which is fine. Honestly, it's probably actually, it's probably pretty north of fine. Like if you think about the ability to dramatically lower the action efficiency of powerful enemies, that's probably, that's probably pretty good. Next time we fight a powerful enemy like a like a massive sea serpent or a sleethen or something, we'll have to uh, we'll have to try it. Do I care enough to lockpick this door? Probably not, honestly. All right, I want to make sure I have actually explored as much of the area as possible. Gosh, there are a lot of lesser ruins in the world. So, the skull mark is just denoting um, Sleathen's hunting ground, right? Even though Sleathen is now dead, like, it's still... I think that's all it is. Do this in a way that our wolf can join in. Okay, Havenstone, Orb of Combustion. We've got to be getting pretty close... That was type 11 of, of wand and orb. I guess, actually, did I check the whole base? I just saw the one chest and kind of figured that was the whole deal. Okay. Where does this go? Nowhere. Just a, just a dead end. Seemed like it would have been such a good place for there to be a cool hidden cave or something, right? All right, you, I can bite. Pretty good fight. We can't auto-leave without fighting the Briars, and I just don't see a good reason to do that. So, okay, at this point I think we've got we've got almost everything in here mapped. I do wanna I do wanna fill it in completely. And then we can get back on our business of trying to uh, trying to map everything else in the world as well. <laughs> I think we're actually quite close. Trying to get it to come out of the doorway. All right, you handle that. I'll fight these guys. I feel like those turrets are just dangerous enough that I don't want to be the, uh, I don't want to be the frontliner. Okay, broken miner construct. Uh, I should make sure that all of those are fixed and ready to be thrown into combat. Because it turns out they're actually completely rad. I had, I had kind of assumed from how easy it is for us to destroy a minor construct, so they would not actually be all that impressive in combat. Uh, and we sure did get to see how wrong I was about that. Ugh, my poise. Okay, I actually took a lot of damage there. 
That that went very badly. That was a really effective ambush. And sadly, I'm not going to be recovering any health here. I can at least get my energy back. And then probably, you know, fresh wolf. Orb of imbalance, that's not a new type, unfortunately. Wow, yeah, that's that's the kind of shit I need. I just need critical bites. Okay, cool. Back up to a good place health-wise. Now all we gotta do is just... A little bit of combat and recover the remaining energy. So, um, we need five of those herbs, right? Five of those special herbs. The, uh, the one that starts with an E. How many of those do I have now? Four, right? Yes, four Endera herbs. And I was led to believe that the last one was probably not just sitting on the ground waiting for us. It was probably um, in the possession of someone. This is a good balance. I feel like I'm contributing just enough to, the, to these combats. I'm not, my pet's not doing it for me. But, you know, he is out here doing it, which I really appreciate. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it's about time we, fe we fed. Is that a good word to describe this process? Feeding off the earth. Sort of a vampire. You know, kind of a vampire vibe. A little bit. A lot of it's born in the melodrama. It's not about what you do, it's about how you do it. Have I been in there? I don't think so. I think we've just... Ooh, what is that? There's some kind of new critter here. Also, there's just like a lot of enemies. Um, I'm gonna... Just... <laughs> holy shit. Just kind of spray... Spray some violence all over everyone there. Ripper. I don't know if that's a name or if that's the type of thing that it is. Well, that didn't take long. Kind of buying my wolf time to do his thing. Unfortunately, I will not be able to regenerate any poise here because this thing will not leave me alone long enough. Okay. We got through that. The Ripper seems, uh, yeah, tough. See if we can't regen some energy off these badgers. Nope, we've definitely not explored this. Oh, hey. Like actual dangerous enemies. Guess I'm just gonna let them do that and... I think the wolf's gonna win, honestly. Yeah, even with the wolf entering combat at such low HP. I'll sabotage that trap to get to the middle thing. Okay. Locust device fragment, no big surprises there. Just stepped on that because I'm dumb. I'm mildly poisoned. Didn't even actually fill the bar.
I just want to have a look around in case there's anything else written on any of the walls. So yeah, we could certainly come back here and collect um, an awful lot of ancient metal scraps if we need to. The fact is, they're just not a very valuable currency. Certainly a thing that we have discovered. Just places to get cheese. Okay. Get my poise back before I come back around the corner there. Alright, things got a little scary. With a fresh wolf, though, we're back to not having any problems in the world. Ignore the low health warning, it's fine. <laughs> it's only true, you know, literally, like factually. And if you're gonna go getting up in arms about everything that's even remotely factual, well, let me tell you something, you're gonna have a rough time in this world of ours. Shoot, I don't have enough energy for a feast. I am in some pretty grave danger. Without the health to leap out of it, or without the energy to leap out of it, I think we're going to have to hit a health potion here. My god will forgive me eventually. Well, that's a very annoying thing for you to have done. <sighs> Don't think I'm going to be able to kill this thing. But it is at full health. I'm going to hit a Steria Root. And then bite it. Okay. So yeah, there are still creatures in the world that are that are dangerous to us, that are a threat. Or at least at the point where like I'm powerful enough and in control of my abilities enough to not necessarily die every time we encounter such a creature. Go see what's in that chest. Uh, riddance, I believe. Yes, that was a new type. I wonder how many types there are. Like, what, what percentage of the total possible configurations do you have to see in order to get this, this task completed? Because it feels like a lot. Guess I should summon a real, a new wolf and then start rebuilding my energy supply off of these things. Orb of Decay, definitely not a new one. Okay, so we have mapped out this entire internal forest. There's some stuff along the river, but yeah, pretty good overall.
Okay, the door unlocks in the presence of the Sleeven's head. Ooh, you will have to defeat its relic guardian to leave. I, we might be ready for that. Maybe. Alright, here's what I want. I want a place where, like, I can't get grouped up on. a little scary we do of course have the ability to deploy constructs and so we can we can tilt the odds further in our favor but I don't know relic guardian sounds pretty scary And again, we ran through all of those ones pretty quickly. Yeah, well, there's only one way to know, right? We're going to have to just take on a Relic Guardian, and this is the first one we've had access to, so I guess let's just go find out. We have a lot of tools. This should be doable. Probably. Maybe. This could be doable. Just real quick, go ahead and fix that. I'm going to try to save the um, deployment of these things until... Until we actually do, like, pull the anger of a boss somehow. Wow. Wow. That is some number of attacks. Okay. Well, I don't know about this poison. It doesn't seem all that bad necessarily. So the teleport did move us away from our wolf. I'm just going to go ahead and howl a new wolf up. All right, we need a large pine key before we can get through there. You know what? Let's dump out some water so that we can get some uh, oil in a, in a vial here. Because we definitely don't need all of this. Apply! Uh, fill empty bottle. Yeah, so we just gotta... I mean, I'm like, I'm fully sure that we are not going to encounter anything really terrifying in here until wow good very fast kill there let's just wait until this web effect wears off so we still don't have the large pine key and we don't have the ability to go back over the teleportation Oh, I should be... I gotta bite something. Oh, let's remember our priorities. You have blood. Okay, I... They have... Bugs have... Fluids, at least? I guess they're not blood. So probably we can't get any... 
um, health with a blood feast off of the, um, what do you call it? The hornets either, huh? I will say this area would definitely be more annoying without a pet. Okay, we're seeing like tile flooring up here. Guess it's just for the, the fancy potion. I guess I could have been doing proper sneaking, right? Huh. Weird little, uh, weird little hidden door. A little concerned about my HP, with no easy way to refill it. We certainly have the resources to just camp. So is there like a proper... Okay, no, this goes back up to the, the top of the world. Okay, yeah, that is the original staircase. It's two rooms north. I don't know. For some reason, I thought we were we were somewhere else on the map. Which is why I thought it might be a, a way to a second floor. Alright, I think we're going in a useful direction. That's a huge spider. A huge wolf. You want to get on that? Thanks. Okay. Chest key is something, I suppose. There's our large pine key. So now we can get through that door, finally. Also, just, you know, Philly on our map. And stepping on every web, kind of just for fun, honestly. All right, so, I mean, do we reckon he's through here? Should I do something about my health now? I don't really know what I can do. I don't have a ton of options. I can just take a health potion and deal with the, uh, deal with the sin. Okay, sorry about the little jump cut there. Real life interruption. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just hit this potion of healing. Like, it was not a big deal to deal with the sin before. Uh, 225 is going to take us almost back to full. We'll save the larger potions for if we get into, like, an emergency situation. So. Is that the relic guardian? I mean, it's a unique mob. A creeper. You want to go... I mean, apparently there's a bunch more things in that room. Are you going to finish it off? or there? Okay. Oblong wire key. Where were all those sounds coming from? Were those sounds the Beatles? Uh, okay. Sneaky. Uh, cute. Never mind. The hornet became aware of our wolf well before it would have seen us. I suppose it was, it was worth a try. But yeah, I could have sworn that we were hearing sounds back here before. What is this? Uh, where would you have sorted in my inventory? 
I mean, you're probably a consumable of some kind. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, Arno's Panacea. A sparkling golden liquid held in high regard for its properties is a cure-all. Distilled from a secret blend of botanicals known only to the highest orders of the Sanguine Witches. Fair enough. Well, that's fun, I guess. Not necessarily what we came for. Alright. Let's use some of that Amber Bane oil and see what awaits. Well, this looks like the right place, doesn't it? Oh, not what I meant to do. <clears throat> okay, that's creepy. The Garden of Lorelei level two, you sense a mischievous presence. Love a, love a good bit of mischief. Okay, so this thing is a fly catcher. Doesn't seem terribly tough. I'm not allowed to summon uh, blood shards over the water. That's a shame. Uh, let's put this oil in the bottle. Apparently that floating enemy is uh, content just not messing with me. I'll take that. It works for me. So when I think about what that uh, mischievous presen uh, presence probably portends, to be honest with you, my, my first thought is like a um, one of those key goblins, so not actually anything very dangerous at all. Is my dog just like, is he stuck on not being able to clear the water enemy? He totally is. I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. Well, you know what? I have throwing knives. There we go. Okay. I like the fact that I actually had to lead him. That's cool. Alright, here comes our friend. He's having a little bit of trouble keeping up. Alright, not exactly terrifying. Okay, a pretty pine key. I don't do we need that yet? Do we know where we need that yet? We don't. But I'm sure we will find out presently. This looks like a pretty serious chamber. Are you a guardian? There we go. I want to make sure my wolf is on top of this. Okay, we have the energy to summon another wolf. Should we need to? Uh, nope, just a random corpse fly. Doesn't seem very tough at all. Here's some money. Okay, a shiny pine key. We need a carved oak key for this one. Why are there so many wooden... Why did I do that? Ow. I just burn myself because I'm too lazy to press right the correct number of times. Okay, we can open that. That's cool. Let's get back more quickly. Like, theoretically, there's going to be a boss chamber around here somewhere, right? Once we get past all of the chambers filled with very cleverly hiding beetles and whatnot. 
especially given the, the music and stuff. Like, the video game is communicating some things to us right now. Alright, so... We still don't have the carved oak key, right? We picked up a different kind of key. Uh, there must still be some explorable something around here. Okay, I mean, that's something. Okay, there's our carved oak key. Turns out we didn't need to really do anything for it. We just had to open the chest. This is maybe not the most exciting dungeon design we've ever been through. Okay, I just want to go up and left. Ow! Okay, yeah, that got real, uh, really quickly. Uh, let me dump out some water again. It's definitely worthwhile to have a bunch of this stuff on hand. Ah, okay, sorry about that. Hopefully, last interruption. We're, we're focused here. We're, I'm here and present and not focusing in the application. Oh, right. I have the menu open. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Okay. We are going to find this relic guardian. We are going to get our relic. We are going to do what with it? I don't exactly know. Hey, I think this tree might be a door, friends. Uh, do I have an open... I do not have an open bottle. Pour water overhead. There we go. Uh, that seems significant. I guess actually so does this. It is a locked door. Okay, that's a wilding. Not a big deal. Wow, uh, maybe never mind. Maybe never mind that thing I was saying about not a big deal. Actually, that dude just casually walked up to me and punched me for 170 damage. A trap door. Okay, so removing it doesn't. I was curious whether it was like, you know, whether you were supposed to go down. Um, and the trap door was just like a way to make it happen without you being ready for it. But nope, it seems like you are not, in fact, intended to go down that way. It was a trapdoor into just a little pit or something. Hey, that's important. That's a whole spectral night over there. Do you, Beetle, do you mind? Important stuff is happening right now. Um, let's go ahead and, like, drop some bloodstones. Right? Like, that's a pretty significant amount of damage overall. Okay, devotional tier. Pretty fun. Not exactly what I was looking for. Hmm. I wonder, is there a... Is there another fake, fake tree door somewhere around here? Oh, there's a there's another like fully visible door right there. How about that? Ugh, it's either walk through the webs or start a fire that's gonna burn for a thousand years. Garden of Lorelei, level three. How many levels are there? Who knows? Hey look, it's one of those key gremlins. Also, a single space of lava? I see, it's one of those one of those lava pressure plates. Ow, fuck. 
Um, do we... Do I even have bandages? I don't think I do. I have a ton of towels. I should have bought bandages when I was in town. Um, and we don't have any, like... Potions that deal with bleeding, right? I think we looked through this. Yeah, tuner gets rid of negation. Nope. Just put some pressure on it and hope, I guess. Well. This guy probably has blood, right? Indeed he does. That helps. Still be bleeding for a while, though. This is quite a strange looking um pit here. Just down into a starry void as far as I can tell. Yeah, the construction of this area in general is uh pretty weird. Okay. I don't think we have seen where this is used yet. I'm gonna have a hard time getting the wolf to back off of this thing. I think we're basically just gonna have to either kill it or... Oh, this is one of those fancy beetles. Yeah, we're going to have to kill it or we're going to have to resummon it to... See if we can maybe get the... I was hoping to draw the enemy close enough to get the wolf to focus on this instead. Okay, and now if we just move away from this thing... Hey, yeah, there we go. I hear a rotten song. A song's so rotten it's actually making me rot. Just, just the... Just the audio of it. That's a pretty... I mean, it's a pretty spooky effect. It's definitely got, like... A sort of an SCP kind of vibe to it. Buddy, I need you to go get her. Wow, okay. Really takes quite a piece out of her. Okay. I really wish it were easier for me to, to just restore small amounts of health, you know, to just, like, stand and first aid myself a little bit. And unfortunately, we gotta remember, if the wolf gets the enemies first, like, the amount of health I get from biting them seems very much based on their remaining HP. Wouldn't mind running into a couple more wildings, though. That would, uh, would certainly be helpful. Okay, that turned off the lava space. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything on these surfaces. But yeah, that turned off the lava space, and I think we can see right beyond the lava space there's another pressure plate. It did not turn off this lava space. It turned off something. It... A great heat was quenched. Somewhere. Yeah, I heard a noise through here. Okay, this will turn this one off. Well, that's interesting, but... Um, where is it that that other pressure plate affected? Okay. We have picked up a key or two. A 
This guy over here would let us would like us to know that he also has a key. Do you have blood? Oh, you do. That's rad. That's actually a lot of health. Thanks for the blood, nerd. I hate these webs. I hate them so much. Thank you. Unfortunately, that is just a chest key. Not really the kind of thing we're looking for in the moment. My wolf is, like, continually becoming aware of something. Which is pretty weird. So it seems like... Alright, come down here and go to the right. Nope. Just get... There we go. Yep, this is totally a path I missed. Another one of these weird voids. Excellent work there, friend. You know, we should probably get like a bow or a crossbow or something. I have so much ammunition. Even though they wouldn't be like our main kind of thing. Just feels kind of wasteful. Not to have anything. Okay, dump out more water. Okay, large steel key, probably pretty important. I think our wolf is having a little bit of trouble putting together uh, what to do here. Ow. Your blood? No. Ah, uh, that's a pretty serious amount of blood. Yeah, we're going to have to potion. And here it is. I was going to say we're going all the way down to the bottom then at least. All right, if we sin again, it's going to be a problem, right? Or, or I think we... Do we get one more free one? Uh, in any case, I should probably actually just resummon the wolf at this point. Oh, we have an empty flask, though, because I just used a potion, so we can just fill that with oil. Ow. It's been really nice to get, um, to have this opportunity to refill our, our Amber Bane oil. Nothing useful. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we saw where the stairs down are. Hmm. There are things still living on this floor. Should we? I guess let's go fight them. Because I could use the opportunity to refill my health, at least. And now, the opportunity to refill my ammo. What an odd, um... What an odd single tile of bridge work there.
Okay, these things kind of suck. I think we're clear now. Unless... Secret doors. Okay. And I guess I'm feeling in pretty good shape. I wonder how many floors there are. This has definitely turned into more of an ordeal than I was expecting, given the dungeons that we've seen so far. Although I suppose it must not come as like a huge shock, because like, of course it's going to be the most significant dungeon we've seen yet, right? The Incender. <clears throat> Set me on fire when I'm right next to the water. Something tells me this tree is not actually a tree. I don't really know what it means for a tree to become a door in this way. All right, thank you for stepping on the web. All right, I'm gonna try to bring this one back to my wolf in the hopes of, hopes of getting his attention. You know what? We can just let those guys die. We'll solve that problem. <gasps> I think that's a bandage. Damn it, it is so hard to get the delay after you close a dialogue box before you can issue another movement order or before, you know, a movement order will be listened to is longer than you would expect. Like, kind of a lot longer. Oh, annoying. What happened there? Okay, this broke open and I guess it spilled slowing liquid all over the floor. Moldy mushroom pie. Okay, not really anything interesting. The thing is, the, like the layout of this floor is clearly procedurally generated, right? It definitely doesn't feel any more significant than the floors below or the floors above whatever so like from a narrative perspective i'm having a really hard time telling what i think will be the final one okay we have another real enemy that we have to fight mostly by ourselves, it seems like. Oh, the wolf's, the wolf's present. The wolf's on it. This is not what I was trying to do. Please get out of my way. I just want to kill creepers. He can't figure out how to operate the door. Extremely dog-like behavior. Very, very adorable, very relatable. Uh, dear wolf, please help. Good boy. Why is this archer so good at combat? Damn. Alright, well after a series of incredible martial arts moves that sadly the game uh, just doesn't quite have the fidelity to display. We 
You manage to lay him low eventually. Shiny silver key. Okay. Well, we can try going up back here. Must you? Found ourselves a Rosetta, some fancy potion. Probably I should check this barrel. Turns out not worth it. Okay, shiny silver key. And more opportunity to get oil. Has it always been this easy to just be carrying around more oil and I've been slacking super hard? I could believe that. How did that guy come from? There we go, I'm at full health. Good enough for me, a carved lead key. I'm glad that our character is as good at identifying the materials that all these keys are made out of as, as they are, because I don't know if I could do so, if, if I could just eyeball that and be like, yes, this one is, uh, this one is iron, this one is lead, this one is steel. All right, for real, are we done with dungeon yet? Jesus. Okay. No door through there. Here we go. Two hundred and forty point critical. All right, there we go. That'll that'll get our wolf's brain working again. Okay, this looks significant. Is this the place? Doesn't really seem like all that special of a spot. It has tile flooring, so I thought, you know, when I saw the tile flooring, I got all excited. But actually, it um, seems to have no import at all. Yeah, no, that's a bummer. Why did I walk into a web? Huh. You know, our minions are immune to most kinds of traps and stuff, so I just didn't it didn't occur to me that that was even a possibility. <laughs> the animation was fun, though. The wolf kind of like legitimately does not care that I am in danger. Not not when it can see another dog across the way. Again, very <laughs> very relatable, very pet dog like behavior. Okay. We must free our hound from this hound's spell through murder. Ow, actually that really hurt. What if I did it what if I did it via luring? Yeah, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead. We have plenty of uh, amber oil now. Let's just go ahead and knock this out. Uh, here we go. Let's 
Wish I could attack diagonally. So this was probably necessary. That copper key is going to end up being critical somewhere ahead. A crystal cube. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. He was standing over a minor dungeon to rebuild the dungeon. We have, in fact, seen that item before. Look at the cowardice. This dead ended us completely. I guess they're still top right. And when we get there, I'm sure they will have the lock for this key somewhere. Chomp. There we go. Between the two of us, if we're allowed to engage in an unfair combat, it turns out we're pretty effective. So there's a lot more to explore, but honestly, at this point, I just want to be done with this place. So if y'all don't mind, I think we're just, just going to uh, go ahead and move on down. I should probably do this at the very least, though. Okay. Echoes of a deadly song. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think we've seen them do do it to more than one enemy at a time before. He's going to bleed out in a second here. Just bite him. What are you, hell are you waiting for? Fine, I'll bite him. Like that, see? I'll say this about our wolf. He uh he loves to be sure. He wants to take his time and and dial that bite in. I can't tell which direction the song is coming from. Okay, there's a hunter up there. Aha! Singing lady. Okay, these hunters are actually a huge problem. The fact that the wolf gets like gets lost and only pays attention to the thorns is is bad. <laughs> yep, that did not hit me. Not even a little bit. Come on now. Ah. <sighs> 
Ah, shit. So we're not going to be able to make it over there. Cool. I think that was my wolf finding that chest key. Okay. Well. Yep, I went to one and then blood lost immediately. I was I was waiting a second to um I was waiting a second to before using the potion cuz you know, trying to make sure I'm not sinning any more than I absolutely have to. Uh yeah, I wasn't really expecting that to just like all of a sudden kill me. Um, drinking a potion before then wouldn't have helped anyway, right? Because it would have just reduced us to one and then... Yeah. Or, um, it says 99. It reduced us to, like, four and a half. And then we bleed for a lethal. That shit sucks. We didn't have the key for the door, even if I could have gotten through the bramble near the door. Um, yeah, it really sucks that bleeding got applied to me, despite the fact that I wasn't in the path of the projectile. It seems like projectiles... Especially ones that are moving diagonally. They sometimes hit things that are in the spaces to their sides, but not always. I really wish that behavior was a little bit more predictable. Uh, well, obviously, we're not just going to jump right back in there uh, and try to do that again right now. Because it takes four fucking ever to get to the bottom of one of those. And I don't know that I think the time on the upper floors is particularly interesting. So, I may, in fact... Just try to get down to floor six or seven or whatever the fuck we were on, um, off camera, and then and then bring you back in there just so you don't have to watch all of that. I mean, it's going to be new floors, right? It's going to regenerate the dungeon, um, but it's not going to be like different interest levels. It's still going to be the same types of enemies and stuff, I'm sure. So, thank you all so much for watching. We're trying to get our hands on a relic here finally. When you come back next time, maybe we actually will. And we'll see you then.